Marco dreams of continuing Valentino Rossi's legacy. Ha, <laughs> no pressure there, hey. Having been such a huge fan of Valentino Rossi and making his way to Rossi's team was something that was always on the cards for Betzeki. You know, with the little time Marco's been in MotoGP, he's certainly starting to shine. Making his first Moto3 Championship debut in 2015, Italian Marco Betzeki has been on the racetrack for a short time. However, in that short time, he's delivered some good results with a very promising MotoGP future, especially since he's in the VR46 racing team. Marco is focused on Valentino Rossi's legacy, and from the looks of it, there is nothing he won't do to try and emulate his idol. So what is motivating him to push so hard? Marco Betzecchi began to gain recognition in the Italian Speed Championship in 2014. He managed to become runner-up that year to Manuel Pagliani. On his return to the Italian Speed Championship in 2015, he won and crowned himself the championship that year. After racing in Italy for two years in 2014 and 2015, in 2015 he also made his debut in the Moto3 World Championship with two wildcard entries and finished 26th in Qatar, but retired from the Grand Prix at his home in Italy. He competed in two races in 2016, but retired in Austria, then went on to finish in 24th position in Great Britain. Roll on 2017, and Marco was now full-time in the Moto3 World Championship with Mahindra CIP. Partnering with Manuel Pagliani, Betzeki's rookie season was slow until the last race in Japan, when he was in 14th position once and 15th position twice, gaining a total of 4 points. He however made it to 3rd position at Mategi, marking his Moto3 maiden podium. He completed the season in 23rd position in the standings, gaining 20 points and achieving 2nd place among the rookies. Marco switched teams in 2018 to Prostel GP, winning 3 races the Argentinian, Austrian and Japanese Grand Prix, with five second-place finishes and one third-place finish, and also gained two pole positions to complete the season with 214 points, nine podiums and a third position in the overall standings for the championship. In 2019, Marco moved to the Red Bull KTM Tech 3 for the Moto2 class and partnered with Philip Ottel. His rookie year in the Moto2 World Championship was, well, terrible. He only finished in the points four times to complete the season in 23rd position overall, with 17 points. Marco joined the Sky Racing Team VR46 for the Moto2 World Championship for 2020, partnering with Luca Marini. The season was good for the pair. He won two races and Luca Marini won three. Marco's race wins were in Austria and Valencia. He finished second place in Misano and Romini and took third position in three more races to complete the season with seven podiums and a fourth position in the championship standings with 184 points. After Luca Marini rose to MotoGP, Marco joined with Celestino Vietti, his new teammate for the 2021 season. His season was well balanced and he was rarely outside the top five with a victory in Austria a second-place finish in Jerez and Silverstone, and third-place finishes in Le Mans, Mugello, Germany and in Austin. He completed the year in third position in the championship after gaining 214 points. The 2022 season approached and Marco had secured his place with Team Mooney VR46 to ride in the Premier Class and partner his teammate from 2020. Luca Marini. It was exciting times for him, as it was his biggest dream to ride one day in the Premier class for such a team as Mooney VR46, the 2022 Thailand Grand Prix. On October 1st, Marco finally achieved his first MotoGP class pole position in Buriram during the Thailand Grand Prix. This also marked the first pole position he had scored for Valentino Rossi's team. It did not come easy. By 0.021 seconds, he just pipped Jorge Martin at the extreme Thailand Grand Prix qualifying. Marco has been speeding his way through 2022 with his 2021 Ducati, making his way to the front row in the dry and wet Mugello qualifying, and followed it with a maiden Assen podium before the summer break. He's definitely a rider that was on the move and someone who says he's aiming to be a world champion and is setting his sights on going after just that. Marco's relationship with Valentino Rossi Marco's dream is to keep Rossi's legacy continuing in MotoGP. Francesco Bagnaia has become the 2022 world champion and gives lots of credit to the VR46 Academy for helping him become a title winner. So Marco Betzecchi is sure in the right team going forward. He has always been Rossi's fan and riding a bike with his name has been a fantastic experience for him. It is a big dream for him because making it to the MotoGP with Rossi was the best part, and since he's always been a huge fan, 
Meeting him and joining his team has been a fantastic experience for Marco. They've been in touch for a long time, and Rossi always advises him as a great coach and good friend. Marco Betzecchi said nothing would make me happier than emulating his good friend, coach, and idol. He's young and hungry for a title, so with Rossi behind him, he's sure got every chance of making it happen. For Marco, Ducati is the dream. Marco's time so far with VR46 has done nothing but impress the crowd in his rookie season, with a podium finish at Assen and with his Thailand GP pole qualification. He moved to the Australian MotoGP, feeling greater than ever. He'll retain his place with the team as he keeps wearing his idol's initials in the rider lineup for the 2023 MotoGP. We can all dream big and Marco's first objective is to win the race, or be one of the racers with a chance at winning. Then, he wants to get his hands on a factory bike, and a Ducati for that matter, which is his dream and the best possibility he is considering. He also wants to be the MotoGP world champion, and has been studying Peko's data, as he is one of the riders using Ducati to its best. Reflecting back on his Dutch MotoGP second place finish, he considers it the best day he has had the entire season of 2022, the first podium that left him feeling a lot of emotions. Commenting on the race, Marco noted that he was not fully himself on the bike during the winter test, but felt much better afterwards in Malaysia. He is planning to improve his braking entry, as it is the bike's strongest part, but also the most challenging, because it requires trust from the bike. However, he has been great at managing tires from the beginning, noting that being fast and competitive while fighting every race has satisfied him. Here are some interesting things about Marco. Number 1. His nickname is Bez Number 2. The first MotoGP race he ever attended was in 2004 at Mugello. Number 3. His hobby is snowboarding. Number 4. He has a pit bull named Rubik. Number 5. His cooking speciality is Carbonara or Piadina. And number 6. His favorite bike is a Gilera RSA 250cc. His personal life While growing up, Marco spent a lot of time in workshops helping his father, which made him fall in love with motorbike racing and motorbikes. He was very passionate about bikes from an early childhood, and according to his parents, he always loved watching bike races. His sheer will and determination pushed him to follow his MotoGP racing dreams. His dating life Marco is not married and has no children as of yet. He is in a relationship with a girlfriend he's known for a very long time. She would show up at his MotoGP races to offer support. They have also been pictured spending holidays and vacations together on Marco's social media. His salary and net worth Marco is worth about $1.5 million as of 2022. The different class races in the MotoGP throughout his career have played a huge part in his earnings, from sponsorship deals, tournament prize money, merchandise, and endorsements. His social media Marco is not missing from the social media scene. He has an Instagram and Twitter account that he constantly updates fans with information about his races and other announcements. He also posts the vacation photos of his vacations, teammates, and family. He has a significant number of followers that he constantly interacts with worldwide. His racing helmet It is good to be careful on the tracks as an experienced racer, and Marco carefully takes note of this fact. He's been in a long-term relationship with AGV helmets. He has worn a lot of helmets from the manufacturer during many of his races. The helmets are of good build from quality materials such as carbon fiber and robust and rugged to give his head the best protection possible in case of accidents. At only 23 years old, Marco Betzecchi certainly has plenty of youth still behind him to achieve great things. Your fans are rooting for you in Marco.